Hello everyone. Welcome back to our English grammar series. Today, we're diving into a topic that often confuses learners, direct and reported speech. Plus we'll explore how tenses, pronouns, and determiners can change in reported speech. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of these concepts and how to use them effectively. So, let's get started. Section 1. Direct Speech Direct speech is when we quote someone's exact words using quotation marks. It's like capturing their words in a snapshot. For example, Lisa said, I love learning about grammar. Section 2. Indirect speech or reported speech. Reported speech, on the other hand, conveys the same message indirectly. We make some changes to reflect the shift from quoting to summarizing. For instance, Lisa said that she loved learning about grammar. Section 3 Pronouns When we shift from direct to reported speech, pronouns can undergo changes. Let's see how that works. For instance, John said, I like pizza. In reported speech, we change the first-person pronoun I to he because we're reporting what John said. Also here, Sarah said, you should come. In reported speech, the second-person pronoun you changes based on the context. Here, it becomes I to match the perspective of the reporting speaker. Section 4. Determines. Determiners, like demonstratives, can also change in reported speech. Let's see how that happens. For instance, Mark said, this book is interesting. Reported speech, close proximity, Mark mentioned that that book was interesting. In reported speech, the demonstrative determiner this changes to that because the reported information is considered more distant from the speaker in this context. Section 5 Tesises Additionally, tenses can change in reported speech. Here are some examples. Present to past, when we report something said in the present, we often change it to the past in reported speech. This makes the conversation feel like it happened in the past, even if it's being reported now. For instance, direct speech, she says, I am studying English. Reported speech, she said that she was studying English. Past to past perfect, for past tense, it usually changes to past perfect in reported speech to show that the action happened before something else in the past. For example, direct speech, they said, we had already finished dinner. Reported speech, they said that they had already finished dinner. Future to conditional, would future tenses often change to conditional, using would, in reported speech to make the future action less certain or to reflect the speaker's perspective at the time of reporting. For instance, direct speech, he says, I will call you later. Reported speech, he said that he would call me later. Imperative to infinitive, commands or imperatives change to infinitive forms, to plus verb, in reported speech when we're conveying requests or instructions. For example, direct speech, she said, please help me with my homework. Reported speech, she asked me to help her with her homework. Continuous tenses. Continuous tenses, like present continuous, past continuous often change to their respective past continuous or past perfect continuous forms in reported speech. For example, direct speech, they said, we are watching a movie. Reported speech, they said that they were watching a movie. Section 6. Now let's move to the time expressions. Time expressions play a crucial role in indicating when an action or statement occurred in indirect speech. Here are some common time expression changes when converting from direct to indirect speech. Now becomes then. Today becomes that day or the same day. Tomorrow becomes the next day. Yesterday becomes the day before or the previous day. Nowadays becomes those days. Last week, month, year becomes the previous week, month, year. Next week, month, year becomes the following week, month, year. Soon remains soon. Tonight becomes that night. These changes in time expressions help maintain the temporal accuracy of the reported speech within the context of the original conversation. Section 7. Practice Time. 
To solidify your understanding, let's look at a few more examples together. Try transforming direct speech into reported speech. You can practice with sentences like I want to travel around the world. They are watching a movie tonight. In the first example, we've changed the pronoun I to he and adjusted the verb tense from want to wanted to create the reported speech version. In the second example, they are watching a movie tonight. In reported speech becomes, they said that they are watching a movie tonight. Here we use the conjunction that to introduce the reported statement. And the present tense verb are remains the same because it's still true at the time of reporting. Watching a movie tonight this part is retained as it is, reflecting the original statement about what they are doing tonight. To sum up. Remember, direct speech involves quoting exact words with quotation marks, while reported speech conveys the same message indirectly, often with some changes for naturalness. Pay attention to reporting verbs, tenses, and structural differences. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode of our grammar series. Happy learning!